video. Uh, I wouldn't call this day one of the guitar build because I would uh, I would call the actual finding of the wood kind of day one, but uh, this is day one of construction fabrication. How about that? Um, so I do have oh my baby's out here in the shop. I hate having this guitar out here. It'll probably only be out here for a couple more minutes but I did take some measurements of the neck and from a profile standpoint just trying to lay out how I'm gonna cut this block of wood uh, to make all the pieces and parts here so um, I do have my measurements basically I've got a uh, there's my 24 inch mark right there so let's get another ruler here we go Ding. 24 and uh, this one is 16 inches there so I have a 40 inch piece of wood and uh, basically I laid out where that 40 inches is going to happen and that leaves a little bit here on the butt end I might move this half inch over here uh, on this end and I think I'm comfortable with that giving me plenty of room 8 inches for a headstock is plenty and I'm measuring that from let me get another uh, ruler here. I'm measuring my 8 inches from the nut. So if I put this on the zero fret, if it were as it were, uh, you know, 8 inches gives me plenty. And this is a really long headstock here. I'm going to do either a 3 and 3 or a 4 and 2. So I'm not going to have it probably as long of a headstock. I measured a Gibson. Gibson's about seven and a half inches. So I figure with, uh, if we put that other half inch over here, that gives us eight inches. That gives us a half inch to play with on that. You know, and, and this lumber isn't going to need a half inch taken off of it. You know, we're not going to have to saw off that much. So we'll be able to come right down there. So I'm going to lay out all the lines uh, that I need. And I have chosen to do, you can see there's a little sapwood, heartwood issue on this piece of, this particular piece of lumber. So my first neck is going to come out of this funky side and I think what's going to happen, uh, the neck is really only about an inch thick through uh, the main body of the neck there. So I'll probably wind up planing off a good quarter of an inch let's say maybe a little bit more than that but you can see it'll be fairly consistent uh, through there so the headstock end is going to be down here and uh, the body end is going to be here because there is a little tear out and as you can see there's a little bit of a riser here where the neck um, runs into the pickup so that the fretboard has enough height for the saddle and all those kind of fun things you know that's a uh, you can route and flush mount these down a little bit further and actually pull that neck in if you want to. Um, I'm going to have to play with that a little bit, but I'm going to leave the neck plenty big to start with and uh, away we go. So I'm going to lay this out. We'll come back when I'm ready to cut. I've got my, I'll call it my double check going on here. I don't know if this makes you guys nervous, but it makes me really nervous to have my guitar set in like this. But I've got all my lines drawn out here, and uh, I just laid my guitar up kind of on top of the piece of wood there. And then I'm taking my square, putting it on my layout marks, and making sure that I've got plenty of room, uh, you know, from where my line is to where I got to be on the guitar and uh, just making sure I got a gap there and all that kind of fun stuff both top and bottom and then where I have my 
offset which is right in here where it goes from you know real thick to thin just making sure that I've got plenty of plenty of meat there to do what I gotta do so we'll put an angle on that piece for sure but uh, I sort of feel like this is ready to cut and uh, I may just go ahead and lay out my second set of lines down here uh, identically and maybe make both of these at the same time and uh, see what I can do. Here's a little uh, wood porn, you know, for the woodworking guys out there. I got my billet of uh, tiger stripe or fiddleback or flame maple, however you want to say it. Uh, you can see the, I think they call it chatoyance, I think that's the right word, um, in the wood. So the grain pattern gives it that striping. You can sort of see it down the edge too. So uh, it's supposed to be two and a half inches thick here, uh, almost seven inches wide, and then uh, 21 and some change long. So that should be good enough for a couple one big carved guitar top and then a couple thinner uh, quarter inch so there we go